Okay, so let's begin the Zoom, ma'am. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us this beautiful morning. My name is Kanhiya Jha, and I'm heading the admission and marketing department for International College of Financial Planning. Just to give you a glimpse of who we are and what ISOP does, International College of Financial Planning was established in 2002 by Bajaj Capital, Bajaj Capital Limited to offer super specialized education in finance. ISOP is pioneer in financial planning education and the first who bought the certified financial planner certification to India. ISOP is the first and largest authorized training provider of financial planning standard board USA. Uh, let's come back to our today's talk, becoming a certified financial planner, a globally recognized financial planner certification, which is valid in 27 countries. Please join Please join us to well. Uh, please join us to invite Professor Madhu Singh, ma'am. She is the Dean of International College of Financial Planning, a former Director of Financial Planning Standard Board, FBSB India. She is a BCom Honors, CAIIB, PGDFM, CFP, CIWM from Switzerland, and she has also cleared various model of NSE, NSE examination. She is an ex-senior level corporate professional with SBI and UTI, UTI mutual fund for 18 years, a financial service veteran with over three decades of diversified experience. She is an author of two best-selling books, Financial Planning, A Ready Rockner, and Retire Wealthy, Easy Strategies for All. Thank you so much, Madhuma, for taking out your time for this webinar. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you very much, Kanaya, for the beautiful introduction. Good morning, everyone. On Good behalf morning, of the International College of Good Financial morning. Planning, a warm welcome to all of you on this uh, uh, knowledge about financial planning and uh, knowing the to become no no to become uh, you know knowledgeable about what is certified financial planner course, how it is going to help you. So, what we are going to cover in today's webinar. This topic is the importance of financial planning in today's dynamic world of planning, the steps to become a certified financial planner, discuss real life scenario related to your financial life, career prospects and opportunities in financial planning, key skills and competencies which are required to excel in this field, and also a glimpse into the world of financial advisory with Bajaj Capital. We all understand that financial planning is very, very important. First of all, let us know what is financial planning. Financial planning is basically taking care of your finances in the best possible way, using all the strategies so, so that the right amount of money is available to you at the right time. Right. So if I look at this life cycle stages and wealth cycle stages, when a child is born at age zero, up to age 25, when he starts working, he is dependent on his parents for all his needs. So parents have to meet various goals in their life. So the most important goal for parents is to provide the best education to their children. Parents have many other goals as well. They have to buy a house. They have to purchase a car. They have to provide money for children's wedding as well. Their own retirement planning. Vacation planning every year. Nowadays, we all want to go for vacations to domestic locations as well as international locations. When a person starts working at age 25, his own you know, goals start from there. Somebody may be requiring to buy a bike in the next one year's time. Somebody is uh, planning to get married next three years time. So at every step, you have financial goals. Then they get married, they have children. Then they, they have to save money for their children's education. Same, same for their retirement planning. So, so this keeps on going. So a person at, mostly retires at age 60 and uh, for, he has to provide for next 25 years to 30 years for his retirement. So total span of working for a person is approximately 35 years. In these 35 years, he has to plan for various financial goals. So financial planning makes sure that the person is able to get the right amount of money at the right time. So there are different types of goals. There are short-term goals, medium-term goals, long-term goals, and there are variety of goals for every individual. So financial planners who do CFP course, they have this knowledge that which product will suit to which client. 
it what in what age of life what product should be recommended how the money should be spent how the budget should be made how the cash flow should be managed and provision should be made for various goals like insurance planning insurance planning is very very important goal in everybody's life many of uh, many people didn't buy insurance and when this covid happened many people lost their lives their family are suffering financially so there are so many things which you are going to learn in financial planning how you can help yourself and society if you pursue a course in financial planning you will learn how to plan for your various goals like emergency funding everybody should provide money for emergency funding i have few examples to explain to you uh, in few uh, few minutes later i will explain to you how the planning for emergency funding should be done the cash flow management you will learn uh, how much cash is coming every month from various sources of income how much are the expenses how much money is going towards emis for loans how much money is saved so making of household budgets you will be learning financial mathematics insurance planning complete comprehensive insurance planning and there is a subject of retirement planning as well where you will understand how to plan for your retirement and there are various products available while you save for retirement and when you are retired how to withdraw money after retirement to meet your monthly expenses then there is a subject of investment planning tax planning and also estate planning which is called legacy planning so we have done proper planning and we we have lots of investment left how they should be divided distributed to our family members that is taught to you in legacy planning how to write a will what is the purpose of writing a will what is the format so all this will be covered yes i am talking about cfp course which is a global mark of excellence in personal finance so we will understand about the cfp program we'll also understand about the various uh, career options available uh, and i'll be also focusing on certain goals uh, uh, which we plan today we'll learn today and we will also be talking about our parent company bajaj capital how the scope of financial planners is increasing in india you all know that india has the largest population and most of the population is young population we are also called the youngest country of the world it means more people are into working group they earn money but many of them don't most of them don't know how to invest that money how to spend wisely how to differentiate it between needs and wants wants are not needs so needs are to be fulfilled that is compulsory wants are your desires how after meeting the needs we should focus on desires so there are so many things which will be learning in this program so let's first understand about the program certified financial planner program this is world's top most certification in personal finance it is recognized in 27 countries of world including india so there are 26 more countries in the world who recognize this course you do this course in india and if you plan to settle in any of these countries this course will give you recognition there as well it is a global gold standard rated program in this program there are four certifications so this is called unique four in one certification program so there are four international certificates from fps the financial planning standards board usa so there are four levels in this cfp program you have heard about cfa program where there are three levels in cfp program there are four levels which you have to the complete uh, for whose this uh, certification is ideal it is ideal for students who are doing courses in uh, commerce or even science student who are looking forward to join financial services industry as wealth managers in distribution houses like bajaj capital in mutual funds in banks in wealth management companies all these sectors they look for students who have done cfp the existing professionals who are working into uh, this bfsi sector even they can join this course because this will help them to augment their existing skills the practitioners the in uh, individual financial advisors who are distribution distributors of mutual funds and insurance they can also do this course because if they do this course their knowledge will increase they will be able to guide their clients better what is the curriculum here personal finance and wealth focused curriculum it contains all of personal finance all the aspects of a person's financial life is taught to you in this program 
this highly it is highly demanded by industry so the demand for this course is increasing day by day i get calls from many uh, companies they are looking for students who have completed cfp or even if doing cfp they ask us whether you have students available who can join us for as interns or as their employees so it is a short term program its online teaching is happening here uh, it takes around 8 to 10 months of the course will be covered taught to you in 8 to 10 months and then uh, the examination and the teaching all is happening online how you can grow 10x in personal finance if any of these defines you students to begin a successful client facing bfsi career they can start this they can do this course along with their graduation and by the time they are graduate they are cfp as well they can start their job into bfsi sector into banks into mutual funds into distribution houses into wealth management companies into financial planning firms even insurance companies also insurance brokers also look forward for students who have done cfp program and if you are a working professional you can upskill your knowledge so upskilling oneself to fast track job growth so once you have done cfp along with your current job it adds your qualification it adds your knowledge as well you have better chance of growing further in your career if you are a existing financial planning practitioner you are a distributor of mutual fund you are distributor of insurance products then you can add financial planning practice to broaden service portfolio because financial planning includes a comprehensive advice a holistic advice to a person's life financial life then somebody who is retired is not that after retired you can't work people study after retired and they do their own practice after retired i have we have many students in icfp who are above 60 years of age they join this course after retirement because they want to pursue this as a you know profession in advisory so retired professionals better manage one's savings for generating regular income they can manage their own savings well and then they can set up a financial planning practice after retirement so one of the career options is also available to retired people who are uh, thinking of doing something after retirement then people who are who want to teach there's a there's a very good scope for trainers for teachers to move into personal finance training so one, once you have the knowledge of personal finance you will be helping yourself and you will be helping the clients uh, with whom you interact to grow their wealth to meet their various financial goals now i'll explain to you what is the eligibility to join this program the simple 10 plus 2 12th pass student can join this program the age should be minimum 18 years of age there is no restriction of stream you can be a science student commerce student or art student you can be an engineering student any student can do uh, pursue this program now but to get a certificate or charter minimum graduate you have to minimum graduate so by the time you complete your graduation you also become cfp to get a certificate you require either 3 years of work experience in banking and financial services industry or you can uh, have one year of supervised article ship training under a cfp that is uh, some people who say i am a science a student i have i don't have any you know experience so i am just a student so yes you can uh, work under a cfp for a year and you get the relevant experience to get a cfp certification and to even you can start your own practice this program is divided into four levels four levels have 10 modules to study you will be studying 10 subjects final level will include project and case studies so there are three levels which includes various exams and the fourth level consists of one case study i'll be focusing on some some part of the case study today uh, in this class then how you are assessed exam and certification at each level so you appear for level 1 exam and you get certification investment planning specialist certification from fpsb you appear for retirement uh, the level 2 exam and you you get the certificate for retirement and tax planning expert you appear for level 3 you get insurance and estate planning specialist certificate from fpsb and once you clear level 4 as well you become a complete certified financial planner 
Now, when I come to about examination, we have online examination, which can happen at your, sitting at your home. These are proctored examination. So the, the team of ICFP will get, guide you, uh, will properly guide you how to appear for these exams. And if you are in a city where there is NSE office available, you can choose to appear for offline exam as well. But students who are at a remote place where NSE centers are not there, they can appear for online exams. So choice is yours. Even if you are living in a big city, but you want to appear for exam sitting at the comfort of your home, you can opt for online exam. Examination for all the levels, level one, two, and three, they happen once every month. So once you join the course, the classes will start and the team of ICFP will keep guiding you. They will form a WhatsApp group where they will start giving all the information about uh, all the steps to be followed by student. So the complete information is given to student. The complete help is given. Hand holding is done for every student till he completes CFP. Even after completion of CFP, if you come back to us that we are, I am looking for a job change or I am looking for placement assistance from ICFP, ICFP is always ready to provide you the placement assistance. Our parent company, Bajaj Capital, they need so many CFPs every year. So they are looking forward to, towards our students. That how early our students are clearing CFP because they are looking forward to giving them placement in different cities because Bajaj Capital is, is uh, you know, present in many cities in India, even small cities in India. Now, let me discuss about the curriculum. Level one, which is called investment specialist, you have to study three subjects. First subject is personal financial management, in which you will be studying about budgets, cash flow, emergency funding, various personal financial ratios. You will be studying time value of money, various calculations with the help of Excel and calculator, like how much to be invested for this goal. If I invest 10 lakh rupees, how much this amount will become in next five years? If I invest at 12% rate of return, all these calculations will be taught to you in personal financial management. In fact, personal financial management is the base of your CFP. Because in every for every goal, you have to do a lot of calculations, which is which are very, very easy to be done because there is a financial calculator which you have to use. You have to just feed the values in that. You don't have to learn any formula. So students who are afraid of mathematics or accounting should not be afraid here because everything is done with the help of taught to you with the help of Excel and calculators. The other subject is investment planning and asset management in which you study about uh, various asset classes, equity, bonds, uh, fixed income, uh, real estate, gold, you mutual funds, all these are direct stocks. So everything is taught to you in this module and which uh, product will suit to which customer at what age is also. Uh, so asset allocation strategies, asset rebalancing strategies, all these are taught to you in this investment planning and asset management. The third subject is regulatory environment and legal compliances. Every uh, company has to meet regulatory uh, compliances. So SEBI, RBI, IRDI, there are so many regulators which cater to different sectors. So the regulations given by them are applicable to different uh, companies in the BFSI sector. So what regulations are you have to study what regulation the companies have to follow is taught to you in regulatory environment and legal compliances. So once you complete level one, you become investment specialist. In level two, once you complete level one, you can start studying for level two, which consists of two subjects, retirement planning and tax planning. Tax planning is very, very important at every step of your life. Retirement planning is a very important goal. Recently, a study was done, analysis was done in India. People are aware that we should save money. But when it comes to retirement, they lag behind. They are very happy to provide money for children's education, buying a house. But when it comes to retirement planning, they have not yet thought about it. So retirement planning is an area which is neglected in India as of now as well. So huge scope for, scope for this area. So if you can even become a retirement and tax planning expert specialist, and you can start guiding people about retirement. So level two will give you a certification of 
retirement and tax planning specialist. Level three consists of insurance, that is risk and estate planning specialist. So you will study about risk management and insurance, various types of insurance policies, term insurance, general life insurance, in general insurance, health insurance, how much insurance to be purchased by a person, various methods to calculate the insurance amount required. This will be taught to you in insurance. Next is estate planning, which is called legacy planning. You have saved so much of money. You have worked so hard in your life. You bought a house. You purchased a lot of investments in mutual funds, in stocks, in bank FDs, PPF, and you have money in EPF as well. But you have not written a will. Something happens to the earning member. How will the family distribute the assets? So estate planning will teach you about how to write a will. What is the reason of writing a will so that our loved ones, they don't have any difficulty in getting the money transferred to their name. So that is will be taught to you in estate planning. In estate planning, there are various laws in India, like Hindu Succession Act, then uh, Indian Succession Act, uh, Muslim law, Sharia law, all that will be taught to you in level three. So you become risk and estate planning specialist. Now you have completed three levels. Now you become eligible for final level. In final level, there are two parts. First part is FPSB will give you a case study that is data of a client. That data you have to uh, analyze and create a financial plan for that customer. So once you submit that plan to Financial Planning Standard Board, they will check the plan and they will give you the result, whether you have successfully uh, cleared or not. Once you clear your financial plan, then there is a second level to uh, second part of level four, where you have to appear for multiple choice based exam. So we'll be providing you these books for level four. I would like to you share with you uh, some a small aspect in a person's, uh, you know, uh, life which they have to provide for. Let me take an example. Uh, Mr. Verma has given, are you able to see this word file? Is it visible, Kanaya, Krishan? Yes, yes, yes ma'am. Okay. So, Mr. Verma has given following information to us that five years back, he started investing in PPF and the total amount available is 5 lakh rupees now. NSE invested one year back 1 lakh rupees and he also invested in e e equity linked savings scheme of mutual fund. Two years back, he invested 2 lakh rupees. He has bank money in bank 50,000 50, rupees. Now, and his monthly expenses are 70,000 rupees. Now, if you look at his investment, he's doing investments, but he did not think about that there should be money available for meeting emergency requirements, which is around four to six months of expenses. His expenses are 70,000. His bank balance is only 50,000. Now, if I go to PPF, okay, we'll withdraw money from PPF. PPF is an investment for 15 years. Although a small amount of loan can be taken in the third year, but how much will be available? NSC, the money is blocked for five years. You can't withdraw money before completion of five years. ELSS, your money is blocked for three years. So this person did not think about providing for emergency funding. So when you look at this situation, you will immediately say, sir, where is the liquid fund? So if I say, if I calculate the basic liquidity ratio, which is equal to liquid assets divided by monthly expenses. So in this case, Liquid assets are only bank balance. So if I divide 50,000 by 70,000, he does not have even one month of expenses as emergency. So what type of emergency can come? Suppose the earning member, he meets with an accident. Fracture. Four months on bed. Next four months, no income coming without pay job. So how will he run his expenses? So there has to be provision of four to six months of expenses in emergency fund in liquid, like it can be in the bank savings account, it can be in a flexi deposit account, it can be invested in the liquid fund schemes of mutual funds. Money should be available in a day's notice. That is called emergency funding. So when it comes to level four, where we teach you how to create a plan, 
we'll be starting with teaching you all these things areas all every every aspect of a financial life of a person will be understood in level 4 so level 1 2 and 3 you will have technical knowledge level 4 will teach you functional knowledge how to use that technical knowledge in actually creating the plan how to be emotionally very very strong when you interact with the clients how to have the feeling of empathy towards your clients so that you are able to understand them very well. What they want to convey to you, they have a very low level of understanding in finance. You have very huge understanding. So they are not able to explain things properly. So you have to help them in, uh, you know, identifying their financial goals, converting those goals into amount of money which will be required after how many, how much time this money will be required. So this will be taught to you in level four. By the time you complete CFP, you have so much of knowledge of all the products available in the market, which product will suit which customers, how to do various calculations for various financial goals. Right. So this is one example I took for emergency funding. Let me take another example. Mr. Khanna is 32 years old and is having two small children. Spouse is also not working. His monthly take homes income is rupees 120,000. He also has taken a home loan. The outstanding loan amount is 40 lakh. So far, he has not purchased any term insurance policy. I am sure you all know what is term insurance policies. Term insurance policy is basically for the protection of the life of the person who is earning. Something happens to the earning member, the family gets the sum assured. So it is very, very important that people purchase term insurance policies, they purchase health insurance policies. Now, what happens to family if something happens to him? There's a 40 lakh loan outstanding. First of all, the bank will tell the family either pay EMIs or vacate the house. Where will the family go? There's no term insurance purchased. So, term insurance, how much amount of insurance to be purchased with the various methods to calculate that need-based method, human life value method, income replacement method, which will be taught to you in insurance. Insurance is a very vast subject. In India, now people are becoming aware of insurance after COVID. Before COVID, people were not aware of this term insurance policies as well. So the lack of financial literacy is there in India. So now it is increasing. People are becoming more concerned about management of their finances now they think about it and the uh, contribution to mutual funds and stocks is also increasing. If you watch uh, the news channels, if you read newspapers, you might be seeing that India is now growing at a very faster rate. India's popul young population is also understanding the importance of personal finance, wealth management. So they are looking forward towards financial planners who can guide them to manage their finances. Now I'm coming to learning outcome. What all you are going to learn, although I have explained to you a few things, personal finance, wealth management, financial advisory, investment planning, tax planning and estate planning, various investment laws, income tax laws, succession laws. You will understand financial calculations, time value of money, calculations in Excel. Then you will be learning core concepts of personal finance. There is a topic in investment planning which is called behavior finance. When you interact with your clients, you will meet different clients in your life, different psychological things, different experience in finance. So this behavior finance will help you to understand the psychology of people so that you can manage their money. You can help them in management of their money. Now, how to manage your clients will be taught to you. Then in level four, you will learn how to prepare financial plans, how to manage the portfolios of the client, and how to do portfolio analysis. These are what you are going to do or you to study. Now, what are the career options available? You can get a job into wealth management companies, tax advisory firms, financial planning firms, brokerage houses. You can set up your own advisory business. You can become uh, RIA with SAB, right? Uh, brokerage houses. Uh, you can start your IFA. Even fintech startups can be done. You can join a portfolio management company, PMS. Now, PMS is becoming very popular in India. Family offices, AMCs, insurance companies, 
building credibility and recognition, faster career growth. You can look forward after completing your CFE. You can become financial coach, trainer, advisor, faculty also. Those of you who have interest in teaching, they can choose this also. They can add to their vertical the knowledge of personal finance. Right? You can become a blogger. You can write. You can help society to understand more. So financial planners' responsibility doesn't end with management of money. Financial planners' responsibility is also to educate people. People have less awareness. So when you have knowledge, Knowledge should be spread. Otherwise, there is no benefit of getting knowledge. Whatever knowledge you have, you spread this knowledge, you help other people to, to uh, you take the benefit of that knowledge which you have acquired. Uh, so this is about career. Why study at ICFP? Now the question comes, there are many organizations who are providing CFP. Why only ICFP? ICFP is India's largest education partner of FPSB. It is part of Bajaj Capital Group. India's trusted financial services company. We are the pioneers. We brought this concept into India in 2002. And the faculties who teach you are, faculties include CFPs, they are CFAs, Chartered Accountants, PhDs. Practicing CFP act as mentors and coaches for you. Uh, so the highest number of CFP certificates and passing percentage, most notable names have been ICFP alumni. Record of reaching 100% passing percentage and there is a consistent track record of 21 years. Our students who take admission in ICAP, their pass percentage is higher, higher than any other education provider in CFP. It's not that because I'm part of ICAP, I'm saying this. You can check it online. You can check it on FPSB's website as well. Our experience, our faculties are better. Our content is much, much better than any other institute. You, many of you must be knowing these names. Mr. Anil Chopra, he is the group director, corporate affairs at Bajaj Capital. Colonel Sanjeev Govila, he is a SEBI registered investment advisor. They exclusively uh, provide uh, financial planning services to armed for defense forces. Then Ladder 7 Financial Planners, founder of Ladder 7 Financial Advisors. So Mr. Suresh Sadagopan, he is a CFP from ICFP and Lavai Navlaki CFP is Managing Director of International Money Matters. I am sure you might have heard about some of these names. There are a few more who are working as advisors uh, in the industry. Gaurav Mashruwala, Dilshad Bilimoria, Bhuvna Shiram, Puneet Oburai. Then we have uh, these people, Shilpi Jori, Kalpesh Ashar, Anand Lada. They all are practitioners. They are helping society to achieve their goals, helping people to achieve their goals. They also write articles in papers. So they are trying to spread as much knowledge as possible uh, to the people of India. And they are all our students. They are ICPA, ICPA students. Now let me talk about study options. We have classroom sessions. Uh, now it has been suspended since COVID. Earlier we were having uh, classroom sessions at Delhi and Mumbai campus. Now we have virtual live classes, instructor-led live classes online at Zoom. We have weekdays batch, Monday to Friday in the evenings, and weekends batch, Saturday and Sunday. Or oh, you have both these options available. You can choose any of the options. And whatever happens in the class, discussion in the class, class recordings are also shared for review. If you have any doubt, if you want to attend any class again, you can just log into that recording of that class and you can read. So we have virtual live classes and we have e-learning sessions where we will provide you pre-recorded video classes. Now these pre-recorded video classes are also updated by us regularly. And you can do it yourself model, study at your own pace. This is ideal for students who are having existing relevant background. You are MBA finance, you are working in BFSI sector, you already have good amount of knowledge. So you can also choose e-learning sessions. But being in class is always good because you interact with other students as well and your learning also improves because you learn from each other. So what study material we provide you? We provide you concept books and workbooks. There are also group, group projects which are given. Guest lectures are also arranged. Then we give you preview, preview videos, review videos, online mock test, 
we give you assignments. Before every exam, we have doubt clearing sessions and we also provide you case studies for practice. So this comprehensive teaching is, uh, you know, su support is given to you so that you are able to clear your CFP at the earliest with good knowledge, with complete knowledge. Now I come to the fees, FPSB for board fees. FPSB registration you have to do, which is valid for one year. For you have to pay 18,000 rupees for that. Then once you register with FPSB, because now you have taken admission with ICFP, you are studying, you, you are feeling comfortable that now you can appear for exam. So you register with FPSB, right? Then you have to subscribe to FPSB's eBooks, which is mandatory for all. It can be paid one by one or it can be paid together. For level one to fee, one to three, the fees is 6,500 per level. And for final level, it is 13,000. You can at one time, Pay 32,500 and get all access to all the ebooks of FPSB. Then you have to pay mandatory fees for examination. So when you are registering for exam, you have to pay this fees. For level one to three, the fees is 6,750. For final exam, it is 13,000. And when the final assessment of case study comes, level four, you have to pay a mandatory fees of 10,500 for assessment of your financial plan, which you have submitted to FPSB. As I explained to you earlier, 10 plus two is the qualification, 18 years of age. There's no restriction of STEAM. You can be science student, commerce student, art student, any student. There's another option for students who are experienced, like somebody who started accountant uh, with three years of experience, BCom, CFP, uh, plus BCom, CFP, uh, CFA, CPA, ACCA. So these are the qualifications. If you have this qualification and three years of experience, you can straight away opt for CFP challenge pathway. In CFP challenge pathway, you will not have to appear for level one, two, and three exams. You have to simply uh, appear for level four exam. So that is that option is also available. For that, you have to pay challenge validation fees, 5,000 rupees. That Then registration with FP, plus FPSB content, 34,000 rupees. When you submit your financial plan for assessment, you have to pay 10,500 rupees. And final exam of CFP will be 13,000 rupees. So if you have three years of experience in BFSI sector and the relevant qualification, which is mentioned here, then you can opt for challenge pathway as well. So there are two options, uh, three options rather which are available to you, e-learning, uh, virtual learning and challenge pathway. In challenge pathway, we provide you classes, preparatory classes, and we give you complete guidance to clear CFP. Now I come to the fees of ICFP. So if you go for level wise, the fees, uh, fees comes to 60,000 rupees. But if you pay lump sum for all the levels together, it will be 44,900. So you save 15,100. In case of e-learning, the lump sum fees is 44,000, uh, 34,900. If you pay level wise, you have to pay 44,000. Here's the saving of 9,100. So what we give you, there's a challenge pathway where you have to pay a fees of 25,000. So you can choose depending upon your knowledge, your time availability, which option suits you. There's a special offer for today. There's a flat 10% discount on the course fees across virtual learning, e-learning and challenge pathway. If you do it today, you will save 16,250 rupees on FPSB content fees. That is, you will get discount on the FPSB content fee for which you have to pay money. You also get NSM 5A e-learning videos, 15 hours of video lectures are, uh, you know, are done by a, a experienced, uh, well-known faculty on financial, on uh, mutual fund. These are available. The fees is 5,000 rupees, but this will be free with CFP enrollment. We will also provide you stock market learning app where you will learn the art of stock market investing, learn everything about technical analysis in just seven hours. Otherwise, the course fees is 5,000. But if you do this enrollment today, this will also be given to you along with your CFP admission 
this is free of cost. So you you save ten percent on CFP course fees. You save sixteen thousand two fifty rupees on FPSB content fees. You save five thousand rupees on NISM five A E learning. Why mutual fund learning is important to you? Because when you do financial planning for your clients, you have to recommend them mutual fund products. Why stock market learning is important to you? Because if you are recommending any stock, any ex, any stock to your client, or your client asks you about any stock to buy or to sell, you should have the knowledge of stock market also. So these two things we are giving you free if you take admission today. We also have the option where you can go with the student's loan. You with 0% interest, you have to just pay 5,000 of fees today and you can go with loan for uh, from the institute and there will be six easy EMIs. So we have tied up with institutes to provide you 0% interest rate loan. So you can easily pay your money in six EMIs. You can pay 5,000 rupees and enroll today. This is the phone number. If you have any query, you can dial at this number for any queries. I'm sure you are able to understand about the CFP course today and how it is going to help you, what type of career options are available, right? And I discussed with you two aspects of our financial plan also today. So this is only two aspects. Uh, when you join this course, you'll have lots and lots of learning taking place on a regular basis. Uh, all the best to all of you. Krishan, we can take us to questions now. Yes, ma'am. There are some all questions right. in the chat. Yeah. So friends, if you have any question, you can also raise your hand and I'll unmute you one by one. You can ask your question directly from Madhu, ma'am. So, Kishan, Kanaya, there are some questions here also in the chat. So, I'm I'm reading. I'm a diploma holder. Can I join and get? Can I get certificate? Uh, so diploma. I think uh, Kishan, the graduation is required to get a certificate. Yes, ma'am. On the basis of CFP, you can get into a good job. But if you want to practice as a CFP practitioner, I think then in that case you will have to complete your graduation. Then weekend classes timing details, please. So weekend so classes. Another question I can see that, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah, please continue, ma'am. So after that, you can also take a question. Yes, we will, we will take. Let, let me finish this uh, chat first. So weekend classes, we have mostly time from 7 to 30 to 9.30. 7 to 9 or 7 to 9.30. Uh, when it is planned to start, we have batches every month. So, uh, different batches are uh, We are starting new batch in the coming week at the weekday classes batch. And today evening, we are starting with a new challenge pathway batch. Okay. Okay. So, today evening, we are starting with challenge pathway batch. And next week, we are starting with weekday batch, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, Alok ji, you can unmute yourself. Yeah, I understand that we have this challenge pathway uh, where you can go directly to the third uh, module. Uh, but you need to have three years experience for BFSI. I'm an MBA. I have, I'm uh, working in a senior leadership position, uh, having 30 years of experience. Uh, but I'm not working in BFSI. I'm working in senior management. But would that qualify? Uh, sir, what we can do is you can uh, send your detail to us and then we will okay. get it checked from FBSV whether you are eligible for challenge pathway or not. Then we will get okay. back to you. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, the another question I, in the chat box, I can see, ma'am. Uh, I'm a chartered accountant having 10 years of experience. CFA degree belongs from which country? Uh, iPhone is. <clears throat> Writing, I am a chartered accountant having experience of 10 years. CF, CFA degree belongs from which country? Okay, CFA, CFA degree is given by USA and CFP degree is also given by certification, also given by USA, Financial Planning Standards Board USA. So they are the certification authority, yes. 
So just to add up, uh, on the same question, uh, when you go for a CFA, you are actually managing the corporate finances. And with CFP, you are managing the individual finances. Right, right, right. Now right. this for a person. I have. So I will read another question. I have I have been an IFA since January 2012 and regularly renewing my MP certification. Can I directly go to challenge certification? Uh, sure, we have to look at your qualification. You have the relevant experience, but what is your qualification? So you can share uh, your CV with us. So Kanaya, at what email ID they have to share the CV? Krishan, if you can write in the chat box, please. So we'll, yes, send your CV. we'll send your CV uh, to FPSB to see whether you are qualified. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, ma'am, I have a question. Uh, I have a question, ma'am. I am a uh, BCom, MCom also. And in the year 2008-2009, uh, I have given uh, the four basic yes, exams yes. for FPSB. All the four basic exams. That time there were four modules, yes, four basic yes, yes. modules. And final exam, uh, I didn't give the final exam. So, will I be able to do that uh, expedited course? Which uh, you were mentioning. So, we have to check your, yeah, you have the relevant experience also? Uh, yeah, I have been uh, working since last uh, 17 years, but okay. not in the finance sector yet. Uh, I mean, handling the accounts of a company. I'm no. a senior accounts manager there. No problem. So, uh, I think, uh, Krishan, have you shared your email ID here? Yes, ma'am. I, uh, I have received, Tina, ma'am, I have received your resume. I have forwarded to the yes. FPSB for the sure. soft approval. We'll update you. I received your previous modules, which you have cleared that. But yes, as I have my knowledge, said. you have not migrated from old curriculum to the new curriculum, right? Of course, because that was uh, way back in the year 2008-9. Yeah, so I will update you by today itself. Give me some time, I'll call okay. you back, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, so I'll I'll be really grateful because if I get the uh, 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 whatever uh, permission from FBSD, if uh, the classes are starting from today, I can start from today itself sure, because no, I want I'll... to complete my final exam now. Yes, sure, sure, definitely sure. I'll update you, ma'am, today itself yeah, before yeah. the class timing. You will get the update today, yeah. Yeah, and ma'am, uh, what is the difference between uh, the classes? What you are saying. I mean, if the uh, I mean, uh, since I am from the old course and migrating in the no, new course, though, so, uh, will that be like uh, workable? Yes, yes. Why not? We will give you proprietary classes if you are opting for challenge status pathway. Challenge mm -hmm. pathway. So, and we will give you the relevant books also. You oh, will, you will okay. be able to clear because already you have cleared the the previous uh, method, right? Yeah, that was the time when uh, the passing percentage was yeah. zero point something something. I know, but the basic the, the basic the basic curriculum is same. Something have been added, which will be updating you in the class. Class, yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. ma'am. Thank you so much. Uh, anyone has any more questions? Yes, ma'am. Vivek ji, please unmute yourself. Uh, hi, uh, this is Vivek Santanam. I, I, I'm a sales professional. I work in a FMCG multinational and my passion is to pursue financial planning and so on. So I, uh, for the certification, there is a clause saying that I have to do a one-year internship uh, with some uh, whatever, uh, CFP, CFP, right. CFP, correct. Yeah, yeah. So in my case, I, I, I still have some more years of service to uh, complete my retirement. Oh, I, so I, I suggest you. What you can do is you can complete your CFP. Okay. You can complete your CFP. Okay. But then to get the certificate, so yeah. seven, after seven years, you can apply apply it because you will be uh, requiring it for further practice. Eh? If what, what I can understand from you that after leaving your job after seven years, you will be you want to start your practice. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So if you want to start the practice, then after completing your job, you can take yeah. a, uh, um, under your CFP and then you can start your career. Okay, uh, but uh, ju just just one more uh, question to that. Will you help <clears throat> help us to get some internships somewhere? Definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. But you have to clear your uh, studies now. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand. Yes, <laughs> I understand. I understand. Yeah, yeah. Because Thanks. after seven years, you will not have that, that temperament to study, right? 
absolutely okay, so today you have decided to study you should do it now yeah 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 thank you thank you ma'am uh, kushal ji please and please go ahead good morning ma'am i'm currently i'm a second in second year bcom student i thought to pursue my mba but with that i wanted to pursue cfp so uh, will it add some benefits to Absolutely. in my resume so mba you can do after your graduation only while doing your graduation you can complete your cfp so after bcom you are a bcom plus cfp then you are pursuing your mba it will be giving you better knowledge and then you can choose to do your mba later on have some experience in the industry and then you can choose the relevant mba accordingly Ma'am, but without the work experience, will I not get the certificate of CFP? Uh, yes, you can either have to work for three years or you have to work under a CFP for one year. Then if only I will want, uh, get the want, certificate. You can start a job after graduation along with CFP you have already done, and after one year you can think of doing MBA. That is also possible. Okay, ma'am. And ma'am, why why CFP is not so much popular in today's background in India? It is popular now. I am getting calls from corporates um, every now and then. They are looking for CFPs now because there was lack of awareness among people to plan for their finances. They were people used to think we'll plan for ourselves or an insurance distributor, mutual distributor will help them. There was no concept of comprehensive learning. Two thousand two started in India. Slowly it is picking up. Now it is picking up very fast, very quickly. There are so many financial planning firms, wealth management firms, family offices, PMS which have set up. All this requires the knowledge of personal finance. Okay, thank you so much. So there are, I think, uh, more. Mohini, please, please unmute yourself. Hi, good morning. Thank you. Uh, good morning, ma'am, for your great. Uh, no, uh, giving away the explanation of how the course is going to be taken care. I just want to understand, I have an experience of 15 years in the finance field. I am an MBA and uh, I've been looking out for this challenge pathway since last one year and so. I have my own firm, firm as a financial consultancy uh, for past three years. So, uh, will that be okay for us, you know, to go away right to, uh, directly for the challenge pathway? Yes, and... yes. You are an MBA. You have experience also. Yeah. And today only we are starting the class of uh, challenge with the first class will be held today, right? Right. So if you are if yes, you want to take admission today, be in touch with Christian. So this number is also somewhere there, there in front of you. Yeah. Uh, you can take admission today and be in the class from today onwards. Right. So uh, uh, the class timings and everything will be notified over there itself over the call. So Christian, you can tell him yes, today's yes, time, then definitely. he will be made part of yeah. the group. Yeah. Yeah, sure. So please note his name and inform him that would be great. 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 Uh, what is your specialization in MBA? What is it? Yeah. Sorry. What is your MBA specialization? into finance? MBA into finance. MBA finance. Great. Okay. Great. I'll connect on that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Nachatra Capital. Uh, sir, good afternoon. Uh, what is the fees you are charging for today's challenge path classes, sir? Timings? Can you please tell us? As for the today offer, the fee for the challenge path pays 22,500 instead of 25,000, sir. For challenge path also? Yeah, for challenge to... path, pay, yes. Uh, uh, how much you are charging, sir? 34,900. 22,500 as per today offer. The original okay. fees is 25,000. You are getting flat 10% discount for today offer. Okay. Can you please share the details once the calls get over, sir? So uh, this can you just provide me your Nakshatraji? What's your name and number? It's Karthik, sir. My name is Karthik and uh, my number is 9696. Hmm. 96, 96. 96. 96. 96. 96. 96. 96. 96. 96. 96. 96. Sure. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, Devesi, definitely your uh, article ship, the uh, three so, article ship is uh, considered for uh, CFP challenge pathway as an experience, but you have to be a, a CF, a CA cleared. You have to clear your CA first and uh, with your minimum three years of experience as an article ship will be considered for challenge pathway. 
तो कन्हैया आदिल क्वेश्चन वॉट टर्म स्टैंड फॉर फाइनेंशियल रिटायरमेंट प्लानिंग डू आई डू रिलेटेड टू विद वर्किंग इंडिविजुअल्स ओनली एज एवरी वन रिटायर स्पेशली दो सो समी हु इज वर्किंग सेल्फ एम्प्लॉयड और हु इज हैविंग बिजनेस एवरीबडी नीड्स टू प्लान फॉर रिटायरमेंट so everybody retires at some stage so normally business people they retire later and for public sector or private sector there is a retirement age fixed by the government but many people work uh, in the self employed also whenever they have to retire they have to see that they have sufficient money sufficient corpus which can take care of them when they are not working so i have stopped working but i have not stopped earning in the concept should be i have stopped working but i have not stopped earning my money is earning for me so my money is generating a passive income for me so retirement planning is must for everybody who is who has to retire anybody and everybody whether he is self employed is a working professional or is a bit this man ah uh, iswar ji uh... the timing for weekday classes monday to friday from 7 to 9 in evening and for weekend classes we have two batches 9 to 11 and 11:30 to 1:30 on saturday and sunday difference between e learning and virtual learning so uh, in virtual learning faculty comes online the way now we are interacting so currently we have kept on everyone on mute just to uh make this session uh understandable for everyone but in class you can unmute yourself uh you can ask your question directly from the faculty so it it is a interactive live virtual class with e learning it's a pre recorded class uh pre recorded video videos you get and with the help of videos you can prepare yourself for the cfp Uh, ma'am uh, one question vijay nath ji is asking yeah ma'am i am become graduate and i have 13 plus years of experience in account finance whether it has any value for final certification uh, challenge pathway i think is not eligible it has to be masters degree but he can do the course level wise harry is asking what is the class strength in live classes around 25 to 30 students are there in live classes ma'am ajim ji is asking can you please take this question uh, i have 6 years experience in banking at hdfc and as a five certified i had uh so are you mba or have you done uh, post graduation in finance aziz ji okay. mr aziz qureshi have you done mba if you are a post graduate yes done mba in marketing Uh, yes mba in marketing so uh, you can submit your share your cv to krishan and he will interact with fpsb to check uh, whether you are eligible for or not sure ma'am uh, ajim ji is ma'am asking i am a ca final student yes I'm a CA final student. Completed three years of articles. If become graduate plus mutual mm -hmm. distributor. Yes. Okay. Please. So I think he seems to be qualified for challenge pathway, but still he will have to also submit his CV so that we can get hundred percent clarification from FPSB, right? Right now. We just need to check whether the final year CA final year year student is eligible or not. So Kanaya, Mr. Alok is asking to share your email ID. Sure. Uh, so share an email ID where they can share their CVs so that do, you can tell them whether they are eligible for challenge pathway or not. Sure. I have just shared my mail ID. Kanaya J K A N H A I Y A J at the rate i c o f p dot o r g. Ah, uh, Priya ji is asking. I have done BE and and now I am doing five five years as HR manager job. And I 
I want to learn about finance and also looking for job change. So can you help me with this? Definitely will help you in job. So you can do this course. You can join the course. You have done your BE, right? I'm not able to read your message. Just give me a minute, please. So Kanaya, uh, I am not able to read her message. Just give me a minute. BE and now I'm doing by your HR. No problem, uh, Priya. You can join this course to learn about finance. It will help you a lot. You can think of changing in career or you can continue in your career, but you will be learning how to manage your own money very well. So this course will help you definitely. You can look for job change. It will help you in providing job assistance as well. Right, Ajimji, uh, 22,500 uh, is the right for today. For challenge pathway uh, you can also unmute yourself and ask your questions since you have raised your hand hello yes please go ahead uh so right now i'm appear for ca final examination so i have four years of mutual fund uh, experience as an ifa independent financial advisor also i clear the irda exam so can I appear for challenge pathway? Also, I wanted to know the fees structure of CP, uh, this course, CFP. The for challenge pathway, it's twenty five thousand uh, rupees. But since we are giving ten percent discount for those who have joined Thank this webinar, uh, ex exam fee, sir. Exam fee will be, uh, ma'am. If you can go back to the no, slide, I, 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 I just show you. FPSB overall fees for the challenge pathway step by step to be paid is 62,500. Okay. On this. Yeah, it is not including the ICFP 22,500 fee. That is separate, sir. So, uh, Ajimji, the, there is a fee of 5,000 rupees for your documents validation. validation. So, it's it's already a uh, manageable fee once, once you get... Uh, eligible for this challenge path winner, it will be uh, manageable with your registration FBSB content fee. Then you have to register for the, uh, there's a registration and FBSB content fee that is 34,000 rupees. Uh, you have to submit your financial plan. So that will cost you 10,500 rupees. And the final exam that you go for uh, will cost you 13,000 rupees. So challenge pathway, it will take around three to six, three to five months to complete your CF, CFP. For regular pathway uh, with weekend classes, it takes around eight to 10 months to complete your all uh, level, level one, two, three, and four. Uh, with weekdays classes, it will take around six to eight months to complete your CFP. I'm an insurance agent since 20 plus years and MFD since six years. Am I eligible? So you are definitely eligible, eligible for regular pathway, but to uh, know your education, I can tell you whether you are eligible for the challenge pathway or not. For challenge pathway, you, you must be a postgraduate or MBA in finance, financial planning, economics, uh, MCOM, with three years of VFSI. So for graduate students, it's not eligible. For, you are not eligible for challenge pathway. You are uh, perfect suitable for the regular pathway, sir. Samirji, yes, definitely you are eligible since you are MBA finance and MFT and you already have nine years of experience. You are definitely allowed uh, allowed to take enrollment in the challenge pathway. Uh, 
uh, said there, there is no age bar. You you have to be minimum 18 years, and uh, then there is no upper limit to be eligible either for the challenge pathway or regular pathway. Even I have seen that the people 65 years old have also joined this program. Definitely, Gokulji, uh, the recording will be pro provided on LMS on the very next day or probably on the same day. So you can go through uh, your classes if you missed or even if you have to review or revise your uh, subject, you can go through the uh, with the recordings. Uh, Niraji, you can ask your question. You can unmute yourself. Hello. Yeah, am I audible? Yes, yes. Yeah, ma'am. Uh, thank you, ma'am, for the wonderful session. Uh, I'm basically a mechanical engineer with the uh, PGT PM from Symbiosis uh, in 2001. I'm uh, one of the senior executives of, uh, in one of the automobile firm and basically managing the entire business. Uh, both for myself and uh, maybe in the future, I may decide to go for a financial advisory firm. Uh, I have understood all the three programs and then the final one. A little confusion is on the side that uh, once you complete the fourth level, uh, still you didn't get the uh, uh, certification from uh, FBSD or, or how it is actually. That is what I'm getting confused actually. So after completing your level four, you have to provide with them the relevant experience certificate. Okay, that is mandatory for everybody. Yes. Okay, so once I complete the fourth level, still uh, I can go and join anywhere, or you can be intern to somebody. You can join anywhere, can get... no problem. You can only to only to get a certificate to practice. Hmm. You have to submit the relevant experience. You can join after doing CAP. You can join any company. You can change the job. But yeah, see, I, I'm, I'm basically yeah. I, I'm I'm not in into the uh, FBSI. Although I have uh, almost like uh, uh, five, five and a half, six years of experience in Citibank and in Yes Bank also. Then that, that's fine. Uh, then it's fine. That will take experience will be taken. Okay, to, to provide the final certificate. Yes, yes, yes. After completing the fourth level. Yes. Okay, so in the in last 23 years, I have been into automobile also, also into the banking and uh, uh, you can say the proper uh, NBFC. So that can be considered for giving the NBFC, the yes, yes, yes. It will be considered. Okay. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. So, Krishan, uh, if I send the CV to you, can you please help me to get the final confirmation in the email also? Definitely, sir. Definitely. Sure. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you can send me on my email ID. Uh, Kusalji is asking the work experience that is required by the pressure will be placed. Uh, will the placement be assured by ISOP? Uh, Kusalji, believe me. I get a query from my old existing students. Uh, every day, every day I get inquiry from our uh, old student, existing student from the corporate. Uh, the requirement is so high, right? And even we are not able to fulfill them. Even if you complete your CFP level one, you will start getting a uh, requirement. You, uh, opportunity to work in the BFSI and rest assured if you uh, clear your level four, but as capital is always ready to hire uh, CFP. Uh, Gokulji has a very nice question. Uh, parallelly, we have to register with both ISFP and FBSB. So, Gokul, Gokulji, what we suggest is that. You first prepare yourself for le uh, CFP level one, right? Because the, your registration is valid for only for one year. So once you you are eligible to go go with your uh, level one exam, then you register with FBSB. So at least you have uh, minimum. Uh, you will have two months of extra uh, uh, with your registrations. 
So once you are ready, you, you feel that you are ready for the exam, then you register with FPS. Don't do before that because it is valid for one year. Yes, it is mandatory to buy FPSB course material. Right? So it is mandatory. Harry, it is mandatory. You have to pay for it and get that material. But if you subscribe today for admission, if you take admission today, we are giving you discount on that as well. FPSB content. Uh, Adili, uh, you, you just raise your hand. Okay. Yes, Adili, please go ahead. Yeah, thank you for a very informative and comprehensive uh, session. I have a query. I have registered for this uh, program twice, but unable to manage time. And uh, it was uh, for a challenge status program in 2015. I have uh, 18 years of experience in financial services. So what will be the modalities if I would like to uh, reactivate or uh, rejoin it? I have all detail with, I have registered in 2015 with, I have received the mail from FPSB regarding my challenge status. I'm an MBA finance. So Adil, you want to go with regular pathway or challenge, challenge pathway? Challenge status, ma'am. I am 18 year experience and I'm an MBA finance. Okay. So pursuing you can go ahead with that, I think... Uh... Uh, today the batch is starting. If you want to take admission today, Krishan will help you in that. Krishan okay. is there, so he will help you in that. You What's can name, the sir? Class What's the name? Adil, Adil Kamal. Adil, Adil Kamal. Adil, 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 I'll connect with you. But can you just provide me a mobile number? G seven eight two double seven. Hmm. Three six double zero one. Sure, sir. We'll connect with you after the webinar. Okay. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Ma'am, I cannot see any question unanswered. Uh, yes. in that and, uh, we, we have the phone number there. If anybody has any questions, please call at this number. All your queries will be answered. Thank you very much, all of you, for being part of this session. And you have the patient hearing of this whole thing. Yeah. All the best thank to you all so of much, you. Thank you, thank everyone. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, thank you, Madhu, ma'am. Thanks, Sanaya. Thanks, everyone. Signing off. Uh, Ma'am, can you and this meeting, you are the host. Okay, I will do it. Sure.